Hi, I'm Bill Buckingham. I'm the program manager at the NASA Goddard Visitor Center, located just outside the gates of the NASA Goddard uh, Space Flight Center. And we are in the Rocket Garden, located behind the Visitor Center. And seated next to me is a full-size replica, an Apollo Command Module. What took us to the moon? We're now looking inside the scale model of the Apollo Command Module. So you can see it's a very detailed model. Uh, as we peer inside, somebody went to great lengths to detail out the control panels in particular. Also worthy of note are the number of fluorescent banks, fluorescent lighting banks inside this model. This model is capable of being powered up and fully lit from inside. A few of the lights are still working. But as you can see, there's also, in addition to this fine detail, a bit of water damage. Uh, this model does leak when it rains or it snows, so there is water intrusion, some mold and mildew and wood rot. It would be a relatively easy task to stop the water intrusion uh, from the outside. Some uh, key patching, some uh, caulking, and a few uh, plates to cover some of the holes where the uh, maneuvering thrusters were kept. This model really draws a lot of attention among visitor center guests. Uh, it really captures the imagination. And people might ask, well, this is the NASA of old. This is NASA 1969, not NASA 2011. And I would argue that it's important to show our guests, many of them first time visitors to NASA, what NASA has done as a basis for credibly arguing why they should continue investing in NASA of the future. We can also show um, there's a direct link between the Apollo Command Module, the manned missions to the moon, and our robotic missions of today, such as the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which has, in marvelous detail, captured images of the landing sites of the Apollo missions. And I think we need to preserve this spacecraft model. We're seeking help from interested Goddard volunteers to restore and renovate this model so that we can use it to tell not only the NASA past story, but the NASA uh, present and NASA future story.